Yo, what is up, you guys? I'm DeAndre. I'm Javante. And this is Dre and Jay. And we hope you guys had a happy new year. Uh, moving on to the year 2023 now. And with the new year comes a new slate of films. Um, so with that, we decided to give you our ranking, our list of our top 10 most anticipated films of 2023. Mm-hmm. Uh, now in this list, I made sure to put movies that are for sure coming out in 2023. There's no... Hey, this might come out in 2023, or this might get pushed back. No, I didn't. I didn't leave anything up to doubt. It's for sure confirmed 2023 releases. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go break them down. Start off from number 10. Go ahead, what you got? All right. So number 10. Let me do my voice. Number 10. Number 10. I got Dune Part Two. Uh, I really like the first Dune. You know, Dune is a franchise where, like, the the old versions of the movies, I, I, I watched them, but, like, I wasn't really, didn't really understand them as much until I watched the new one that was released, um, what was it, this past year or the year before, with, you know, the new, new one. Um, and I just think it's a, it's was a it great... Was this past year? Yeah, I think it was this past year, maybe. Yeah, it was this past year. Um, no, it was the year before. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. year before. Okay. Now that we got that maintain um so yeah i was really impressed by it and also i just think it was a great match made in heaven with um you know dune being directed by denny villeneuve villeneuve uh he's real good at sci-fi i know he's he did arrival and he did um blade runner 2049 so it just seemed like a perfect match and visually and just from the audio in the film it really just immerses you into the story um so i'm excited for this one and they just add, it, it's an already a stacked cast from the first one and they're adding austin butler uh christopher walken um and florence P- florence pew mm-hmm. to it so excited for it at 10 i had 65 okay you know, Adam Driver gets a bad rep because of Star Wars, but he's actually a really good actor. Um, this is something different from him, I think. Um, and also, I've been waiting to see Dinosaur Movie. If you watch our 65 trailer, I literally said, this is why I wanted Jurassic Park to be. Scary dinosaurs trying to eat people. Man versus dinosaur. Man not dominating dinosaur. I don't want to see nobody choking out no dinosaurs. Uh, <laughs> doing the hand thing no more. I'm tired of seeing that shit. So I just want to see old school dinosaurs, space type movie, gun. It's kind of like that video game we talked about last time, that video game with the dinosaur. And the Turok. S- Turok, yeah. That would kind of remind me. I mean, that looks fun, exciting. Um, also, Sam Raimi's on it, so I'm mean, going to have that horror aspect to it, so that's what I'm looking for. Okay. For number 10. That is good. That is good. One. Fuck a Jurassic Park. Okay. Or Jurassic World. Let me say Jurassic World, not Jurassic Park, the OGs. Damn, we don't have to go there. Right. No, nah, I got to keep it real. All right, how about you? Sorry, Universal. All right, how about you start off number nine? So, number nine. Got Scream. Okay. Nice. Um... Scream, Scream was fun to me. I liked it. You mean Scream 5? No, Scream. I liked it, but um, I love that we, you know, we learned about Gina Ortega, who became, who's now a superstar. Um, well-deserved also, well well accoladed. Um, but I need to see something new, and that's why I have that night. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with the New York thing. It's new. I've seen the posters. The posters look cool, especially the newest one with all the different boroughs, like the different names of the characters from the past and everything. And no, Nev, no Nev Campbell. So some new this franchise always has Nev Campbell to lean on. No Nev Campbell now, so I think it kind of forces them to go outside the box and do something different, which I'm excited about. So that's why I put it at nine. Okay, nice, nice, like it. Um, not number nine for me. This is my only DC film in this in this bitch. Because <laughs> hey, I'm not really too excited for DC movies. Why not, brother? Man, fuck that. This is the last of this era. Doesn't hey at that at that point? What am I really watching it for? It's the last of the era. I ain't interested in that bullshit. Anyway, number nine, I have Blue Beetle. Why? Because Blue Beetle is a character, very underrated, starting in, and he's now gained notoriety, especially over the years with um, series like Young Justice, which that, that's when I was put on to Blue Beetle. His whole arc and that whole arc with him, the, the scarab and, and just the reach in season two uh, was phenomenal. Um, love that. And then also he was in, I know in the New 52, especially in the D, new DC animated universe that they recently did, which concluded with Justly Dark Apocalypse War. He was part of the Teen Titans as well in those movies. Um, so a great character. And, you know, Zolo uh, Maraduena, you know, he's great in Cobra Kai. I think he's going to kill it as Jaime Reyes. And 
it, I think it, I'm really excited just to see the impact that it has for the Latin American community. You know, mm. see, seeing a superhero, uh, seeing a superhero that resembles them on screen, uh, it's always important to to see representation um, from you from yourself into film. And um, you know, for me, it's it's cool for me because you know I like if you guys don't know our family, we grew up in El Paso in our early years, and Blue Beetle. That's where like the movie takes place. That's where he's from. That's where character's origins are from. He's from El Paso. Shout out El Paso, the wild wild west. Yes, West Texas yeah. can get. Yes, sir. <laughs> so that, I think that's going to be really cool, especially if uh, you know, if, especially if they show off some scenes in El Paso. I know they shot some scenes in El Paso, so. It'll be cool to see it. I don't know. I, I'm just excited for that. Oh, yeah. Number eight. Get that Batman Joe wallpaper. Yes, I do. It's pretty cool wallpaper. Appreciate it. I know, right? Fire. Number eight. We got the Super Mario Bros. movies. Um, Chris Pratt as Mario. I mean, it's not the greatest thing about this movie, but I do love the animation, and I think uh, video games translated to movies have been great recently and i hope that this success continues and i'm really psyched for it because of what it can do for video game movies moving forward i mean hell we can get um zelda legend of zelda hey we can get fucking uh crash bandicoot you know like i think i think i think it could be awesome I, I think it's gonna be a really awesome film it has an amazing voice cast um besides chris pratt but you know so I like that. That's not yeah. bad. That's not bad. At eight, I have Guardians three. Okay. Uh, my first MCU film. Uh, you know, Guardians something I've been kind of iffy with. I like the first one, second one was, eh, and the special they did was very quite special. But knowing this is the last one, we're gonna probably lose a character. It's kind of sad, and um, I'm kind of ready to see how this story concludes, especially with James Gunn being his last story he's telling before he takes over with DC, and you know, he'll do a great job over there. Um, so I just want I put that at eight. For okay. me. Awesome. Number seven. At seven, I got Mario. I've been in, I'm into the Mario thing. Look, I got the new Mario Odyssey for Christmas, and I, I was asleep, guys, on the Mario, the Mario wave and the Zelda wave, especially the Mario wave. Um, I'm loving the game, but also like the character. I, I always love Luigi, but like I never was in the Mario lore like that. Now I'm trying to get into it and no one no more, everything like that. So I was late to the party. I'm finally on, but I get why people love this character so much and love this French like this franchise so much. So really excited to see how they translate this to the movie. It's somebody especially who doesn't know as much about Mario as like a real diehard Nintendo fan, but I wanna know more and I am excited to see this story be told. And shout out my man Luigi, they better do Luigi some justice. That's my guy. Okay. Alright, number seven. Oh wait, yeah, number seven for me. Um, I have Ant Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Ooh, why yeah. so high? Huh? You slacking, bro? Why so high? So high or so low? So low. Okay, yeah. So, so low. low. Yeah, so low. My bad. Um, so low. I mean, I do remember that it is an Ant Man movie. I can't put it that high. <laughs> nah, I mean it's crazy. I, who would have thought that I would, like people would actually start putting Ant Man as far as like their top ten most anticipated movie to watch? Because Kane, the Kane, Kane is, is in and yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say. Like Kane, and it's his third film. It seems dark. Yeah, Kane, darker. Is, Kane is really why I really want to see this movie. I think Jonathan Majors um, looks cool from the trailers. I mean, from what we saw in Loki, which he wasn't really Kane, but still seeing him, dope. Yeah. Um, and I'm just, I, you know, I just want to. I'm really. Excited to see Kane's introduction to the MCU, like the real Kane, uh, see his power level. And it's the real Kane. Well, you know, his this version of Kane, the, the real you accurate, don't know. the real accurate version, as far as resembling the character from the comics. Oh, okay, okay, you know, okay. that, that version. Oh. Okay. So I'm I'm excited to see him put in work in this movie, I guess. Okay, I like that. Yeah, that's that was, that's actually my last MCU movie. She's a disrespect. I put it I I had others, bro. Yeah, no, I figured, go ahead. Uh, sits. I actually have Scream Sits. Uh, scream. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, Scream Sits. It's scream Sits. That's what it's called? Yes, okay, it's fine. Go ahead, go ahead, continue. But do not go there with me on this. Um, so yeah, like you mentioned, you know, um, if it was based, if this movie was basically like a continuation of the last one and it took, took place in Woodsboro, this actually probably wouldn't be on my list. Um, just because the last movie, like, I enjoyed it, but it was okay. Like, it wasn't like something new it wasn't great in the franchise but now seeing that they're taking this to new york yeah um you know it's just, it's just fresh it's a fresh new take on the on the franchise no neve campbell so uh i really i'm just interested in seeing um 
it for the new changes that it's having. That that's yeah, this was actually called six. You got it right. Yeah, motherfucker. You actually had to pull it up just to try yeah, to. Sure, kind of the last one was called five. So okay, I'm sure. But, but yeah, I like that choice. I like that choice. That's a good choice. Yeah, I like the reasons why you said it. Uh, for me, we had six. Yep, I'm going John Wick. Okay. Um, QC, I mean, the story Baba Yaga. Um, all John Wick movies are dope. They're all amazing. All fun. I don't know if it's gonna be the last one. I'm guessing this is the last one, right? I'm guessing. I know no, they're gonna do no. some spinoffs. But They're gonna do John Wick's always an exciting film. Um, one thing that's funny, I never see it in theaters. It's my first time probably experiencing it in theaters. Um, so I'm interested in that. But all those Keanu Reeves gonna do his thing. Action star is gonna, you know, portray the character in the right way. It's gonna be fun. It's a lot of action, a lot of gun violence. We're gonna see a lot of crazy stuff going down. So I'm excited for a good fight scene. We have old boy, your man's up in there. He thought it was better than Bruce Lee. Oh, Donnie Yen? Yeah, Donnie oh, yeah. Yen, who's cool, but he ain't Bruce Lee. But I, he got I him in there. So I think there'll be some dope fight scenes, some classical fight scenes. So. Um, I'm all here for it. We don't get many movies like this, like movie action type of, you know, movies like this no more. So it's fun to see this and get this still rejuvenating the system and like the, you know, yeah, list. Agreed. All right. Number five. Uh, I think that's you. Was it me? Yeah, that's you. Transformers. Robots in disguise. Oh uh, yeah. Tra- I want Transformers. Um, look, I like the first Transformer movie. And second one's cool, and they start going down here from there. I think also because, like, I always tell you, Andre, he'll disagree. I think they made Octopus. The first movie, Octopus Prime was too weak. I'll give him that. Megatron was OP. But they should have made Megatron a, a little bit better. They should have made Megatron, or uh, uh, Octopus Prime OP, because then it made Megatron, like, a bitch and weak and trash. His initials are OP. What you expect? No. It made him trash. So I hope that we but, see. But it wasn't just Megatron. It also, I mean, I, I, I watched it again recently. It wasn't just Megatron that was nerfed in the movie. Starscream was nerfed compared okay, to the first one. I don't care. Megatron's going to be the guy, bro. He getting, he getting his, he whooping ass and getting his ass whooped again. He helped Mega, he helped Octopus Prime not get his ass whooped, and then he went and got his ass whooped again. No, bro, fuck that. So what I'm saying is, is, I, I'm curious to see that. Also, no Michael Bay. Probably a good thing. I think we need something different. All them jokes were starting to get annoying and change and ruin the franchise. All them explosives all over the place all the damn time. All them girls that don't ever get dirty or fucking beat up. No blood. No nothing. All after getting fucking knocked into the wind and shit. He's out of line. <laughs> but he's right. But I'm, I'm, I am love the man. I love the director because I know he did Creed 2. He was great in that. And um, so far, I love the cast that they brought together. But also, the trailer shows some very throwback 90s type of nostalgia to people when it came to the designs of the characters. And um, seeing the new animals is going to be kind of dope, too. Seeing the animals transform and, and see that whole thing with Octopus Primal and stuff like that. So I put that at number six. Okay. What's that, five? That's five. Five. My bad, guys. Five. All right. Number five for me. Dun, 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 oh, dun, dun, no. I got Mission Impossible 7, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Um, yeah, I'm a big Mission Impossible fan. I've, I've, I love the franchise, and I'm just very excited to see what Tom Cruise, like, what, what exciting stunts that Tom Cruise pulls off in this one. I mean, I remember when he was thanking people for the t- watching Top Gun, he was over here jumping off a plane. Um, I think that was for a scene for Mission Impossible or something. But just for the trailer, I mean, even him driving the motorcycle off the fucking cliff, like, cool stuff. Um, and also the villain they got for this one, S.A. Morales is playing the villain. And S.A. Morales, uh, I know him from watching Titans on, which, disappointing show now. But I loved him in, in Titans as Deathstroke. He didn't, he didn't have the best writing, but I liked how he portrayed him, if it made sense. Um, but yeah. Really excited for Mission Impossible. Death 7 Dead Reckoning. So, I like that. Number four. So, continue your ass. Uh, Transformers. Rise of the Beasts. I have that at number four. I'm a huge Transformers fan. Love my guy Optimus. I don't give a fuck if what you say. Well, I'm saying it's facts though, bro. Hey, it don't matter, bro. Hey, hey, the shit looked cool. The motherfucker was body. Yeah, it was cool. With, left and right. Yeah, but then it was like, there's no point. Because he was beating everybody. He's like, bro, there's no real threat here. Because once Optimus is around... Uh, everybody just trash. Yeah, it just shows how great he is. That's a problem that you can't have the hero. I don't care what franchise it is. You can't have the hero OP to the villain, bro. Imagine Luke Skywalker being OP to Darth Vader. Would the movie still work the same? I Hell mean, no. I mean, he had, he had to struggle. I mean, when? Optimus Prime went through struggles when? before when? beating the... I when? Mean, uh, the fourth one. When lockdown. Remember, he shot his ass right in the middle of the chest. Boy, he ain't going to... Lo- and remember he, stabbed, remember, he stabbed him, too. 
Yeah, but he always come back, and I'll just probably save you. I'm, I'm cool with that, but I'm saying, bro, he makes the other guy look trash. When old boy was whooping his ass, making him beg for mercy, well, oh, please. Or oh, uh, whooping Samuel, his ass. Yeah. yeah. Well, who had to save him? Megatron. Okay. And then I'll just probably just get up out of nowhere. Megatron didn't even do that yet. He just buys Megatron like, hey, that shit. That shit was funny to me. I thought but that, that's I, it. It's I, I trash, thought, I thought though. No, but you know. If you're a Megatron you fan, what? You know which what? I'm not, but if you're a Megatron fan, like, you're like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Megatron just, like, fucking washed. But you know what? He's really sitting there just fucking dust. Because you know what? I think the reason why they did that. And why Michael Bay did that? Because honestly, he was, <laughs> when, when he was making Transformers, the third one was initially his final one. So when he had that scene, he probably was like thinking to himself, "Oh shit, <laughs> we got an off Metatron. How do we do that? <laughs> in a matter, we only have two minutes left to, to, in this movie. We got we got to end it real and quick." That's why I'm happy. I'm happy right, Michael Bay got moved off from the franchise. But it was like, bro, I don't want to see that no more. Right? Like, show, this, give every character his due respect. Yeah, and, and I agree with you. A lot of points you made. I, I, it does the recent trailer does have that '90s Transformers feel to it. Um, and I'm excited to see the be, the you know the Primals, the Terracons, um, Optimus Primal, voiced by Ron Perlman. Perlman, Perlman is a great casting uh, choice. And um, the only the only problem I had with it, I was just disappointed with Optimus's look compared to Bumblebee because of what I saw in Bumblebee. I like the the. Robot designs in that film. I don't mind if they're gonna upgrade them throughout the movie or upgrade them at the end of the movie. I'm we'll cool see. With we'll see about that. Everybody, everybody says, "Oh, it, he's gonna look better," and then that's you know it you watch be. the final movie. Think about you gotta sell toys. Give him one look, then give him another look at the end of the movie. That's how you sell toys. I hate that shit. Just but, Bumby did it. Bumby was some of them old ass Chev- uh, Camaros. Then he got the new. Like, I, I, I had to do the Camaro. I find that shit useless sometimes, especially like um, one of the, one of the biggest one gripes I have about that shit. Wonder Woman eighty four, and uh, don't get me started on that movie as a whole. But I hated them introducing that golden armor shit because it made no fucking sense at the end of the Bro, day. Bro, it's like Luke Skywalker get a new lightsaber. Yeah, but he actually got his hand cut chopped off and lost the lightsaber. But he didn't go blue. He could went back to being blue again. They went to another color. He said, we're going to do something different. Yeah, get his own not? look. But, if, I mean, but also sells toys. He lost the lightsaber. I mean, but you could make another blue lightsaber, what I'm saying. He could stay with blue, but he went green. Sell toys. Okay, regardless. But still, bro. Wait, Wonder Woman, made, hey, look, Wonder Woman made no sense. She wished Steve Trevor away. She should have got her powers then. She had, she, had her, she had her powers. And yet she had to dress up in a suit. What was the point of that? Toys. Merch. My point exactly. Now, if you, now if Steve Trevor was in the final arc of the movie... And like she didn't wish him away yet, then I can see you bringing out the golden armor because like, hey, you're weakened, bro. So Spider Man, I don't know how many suits, bro. It's about selling toys, bro. Yeah, well, that shit pisses me. We off. gotta sell merch. It pisses me off to change shit. Just Darth Vader, just it. for the sake of it. Darth you know? Vader had how many? You know, all three Darth Vader suits are different suits. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I know that. Toys. Well, if that changes, do you think? Do you think I paid attention when when the Darth Vader toys came out? Oh, this one has a different suit compared to this one has a different suit. No, there's the no. hey, there's some people that hey, some people that want the small differences. I'm just saying, I get why you do why they change. Like Spider Man, get why they change all his looks. Them sell toys. I'm making you buy every toy every can be. But Spider Man come out every two years, right? If you're a kid or you're a, te- you're a teenager, oh, I got Spider Man. I'm good. I don't need another one. They need that that Infinity War suit. Oh, I need that Infinity War suit. Oh, I need that new Spider Man movie suit. Oh, I need that reverse suit. We thought that was a whole new suit. That shit was a reverse suit. You need the toy. That everybody needs a new one. The last suit. It's just, so, it's just stupid. But we yeah, didn't off topic. Go ahead. Go ahead. Topic. My four is Spider Man, the Miles Morales, of course. Um, another movie got pushed back. Um, just curious to see what it's gonna be. You know, all the Spider Man. I'm not the greatest Spider Man fan, but I do like Miles Morales' story, like the animation and stuff. So, um, I'm excited to see what they do with them. I'm sure, the soundtrack's gonna be banging. So, I know Metro Boomin's on the soundtrack, so that's dope. That's dope. After you heard his album Heroes of Villains, but um, yeah, I'm just I'm excited for it, man. I think the first one was amazing. I think it really did change the the pers- I don't think it changed the perspective of Miles Morales in that like in a complete way. But I think it also gained more notoriety to Miles Morales and his swagger and just like his culture and everything. I thought that was dope. And a lot of people liked Miles Morales after that movie. So I'm just curious to see how they expand on that, expand on the character with his growth uh, through the years and um, stuff like that. So, yeah. hey, all right. So number three, I got John Wick Chapter Four. So Chapter John Wick. I ain't got to say too much. It's John Wick. Y'all seen the trailer? Y'all saw what the motherfucker was doing with the pencil and all this bullshit? You know, just clip, reload, reload. Shoot, you know, you know how you be doing. I'm gonna go with the Marvels. My boy John John Wick like that. I'm going the Marvels. Really, you chose that shit. You know why? Uh, no, for no offense to you, brother. I'm just saying, bro. Like, it's only two MCU movies. Bro. It's like, why? Why would I be hyped? I'm not, like, I'm gonna tell you why. Marvels is dope, but. Hey, I'm you got, you got to, before I put you in top 10 most intensive, you actually got to put hey, out a good movie. Hey, I'm going to do you, I'm going to do me. If you shut the hell up, I can explain <laughs> it. If you shut the hell up, I can explain why. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, new director, Lay from Candyman, um, 
Nia DaCosta? Nia, Nia, Nia DaCosta. Yeah, sorry. Sorry to mispronounce it first. Yes, yeah, she's amazing. I love her work. Also, I really like Miss Marvel. I like that. I like that. I like that movie, that show. That show was really good. I enjoyed the character. Um, I enjoyed her storyline. She was very lovable. I love Monica Rambeau and everything I've seen her in so far. And it seems like, just based off that little post, for people who haven't seen a spoiler alert, for that little post credit they showed on Ms. Uh, Ms. Marvel with Captain but Brie Larson, she said like she's changed her approach on her Captain, Captain Marvel. What do you mean? Like, when she pops up, like, oh, she, to me, I think she's got more like a goofy, like, not so serious all the time way about her. Persona, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people said she was like a bitch in the first one. Like, she's like a bitch all the time, like bitch face and everything like that. I think she's going to be way more, like, fun, having a good time, just enjoying the role. I think it's, she'll be better in this performance as well, which is why I got a new director, because they weren't happy with the first film, how it did. Even though it made money, the critical audience score, we weren't really feeling like that. We just liked because Infinity War came out, or Endgame. So, what I'm saying is, that's why I'm putting it there, because I think this film's going to show out. It's going to surprise a lot of people, because Miss Marvel was so, the Captain Marvel was so bad the first, like, people hate it. Mm-hmm. It's going to surprise people. I love this cast together. I can't imagine what these three are going to be like on camera together. Give me that three. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Kevin, find you how I do. <laughs> All right. So go ahead. Number two. What you got? Uh. Okay. Two. Ant-Man. Back to back MCU films, baby. We here. I knew, I knew he was going to put a um, shit ton of MCU movies in this damn thing. What you mean? No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Uh, okay, let me go. Let me say this right here. Ant-Man and the Watch is going to change the MCU for the future. And when I say this, I mean this because I'm looking at saying... Oh, that's funny. I thought we, we, said the, I thought we were going to say the same thing about Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. This is different. Mm-hmm. Because we are now going to officially see our big baddie, who's the future of the Avengers, a future villain of the Avengers, a big threat. We're going to see him in it for our first time. And not the version we saw in Loki, where he was a nice guy. We're finna see the more threatening one. You feels me? And I'm talking this close to the mic. I gotta make sure y'all all hearing this. I gotta preach that good gospel right now. This one's gonna be fire. We got the family aspect with Ant Man, with his girl, with his daughter. I'm sure somebody's gonna be dying. We got my man uh, Pops is back. Her dad. Can't think of his name right now. Hank Pym. Hank Pym is back with his wife now. This story, I think this movie's going to look great on cam- on screen. I know you guys talk about the CGI of MCU always. It's going to look great on C- on T. It's going to look great in the movie theater. And also, it's going to develop the storyline of what the future of Phase 5 and the future phases of Marvel are going to be. Because I know a lot of people look at Phase 4 and say, oh man, like I'm not too happy with it. But this right here, this is the start of a new journey, guys. Just follow along and get in line. I'm done. <sighs> Marvel, Marvel fanboy out. <laughs> anyway, coming in at number two, <laughs> I do have some relation to Ant Man because it has a star from Ant Man in this film, which is Creed three. Creed three is number two for me. Um, you know, it has Jonathan Majors as the new villain or new antagonist, new opponent for Michael B. Jones. Oh, you, oh, I forgot about Creed three. Damn. Damn. Yeah, you forgot. I want to put that in my top ten probably. Damn. I forgot about that Shame one. Shame on you. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I, I think looking at the Creed franchise, you know, you saw the first one, which was kind of like, if you, if you compare it, like Creed one is Rocky one and two combined. Cause you know, it's kind of like his rise, rise to fame. Uh, Creed two was his Creed three because you saw him at the height. You saw him at his down, down point, you know, lo- mm-hmm. losing. For sure. Um, this is probably the most mature version. He got the daughter that way. He had a baby, but now he has his daughter. He has his family. He's kind of like more established in the fighting game. Yeah. The champion and stuff. So. Well, you could say Creed th- You could say Creed 2 is like, is was Rocky 3 and 4 combined. And then this one definitely seems like it's going to be like Rocky 5. You know, where Rocky took on an apprentice. Apprentice you, it ended up going against him. Uh, which I'm trying to think. It was uh, Tommy Gunn. Tommy Gunn, you know, he started out, you see, you think of him as his next uh, protege, and then he ends up going against him. So it's kind of like the same thing based on what the trailer showed. Um, so I'm excited for it. It's shot, I, I, Michael B. Jordan directed it, so I'm, I'm curious to see how, how it looks. Uh, I think it's his directorial debut, so good for him. But yeah, and I'm a big fan, a big supporter of the Creed franchise and a big supporter of the Rocky franchise. The only sad thing, I, I'm, the only thing I'm disappointed about this movie is just no Sylvester Stallone, but I guess he has his reasons. Um, but yeah. 
All right, before we get to number one, we're going to list off some honorable mentions if you have any. Um, so honorable mentions for me, I have Evil Dead Rise. That's a, that's one. Uh, I just saw the trailer today. So if I if I would have had more time to think on it and reflect on it and watch the trailer multiple times, I probably would have made it maybe included mm-hmm. in this list. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I am hyped for it. However, for me to be like my most anticipated movie... Like, I, I don't know, I, it's, it's hard for me to put that at my most anticipated, uh, you know, in my list of most anticipated films, when I know one of my favorites is going to die. Yeah, I feel that. You know? Like, why the hell would I be looking forward to it? <laughs> um, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I uh, love the Indiana Jones franchise. It's just, it's going to be weird seeing Harrison Ford in this film doing all, all these things that he's going to do, especially at his age. Um, so, we'll see how that works. Uh... The Exorcist, that comes out in October this year. It's a sequel to the 1981 Exorcist film. Curious to see that. And then lastly, Megan, that comes out this week, but I put it in here because I think that's going to be... Um, that, that's, in a movie that, that's a movie that's exciting to watch as well. So those are my honorable mentions. Yeah, I would go with Megan, of course. Um, uh, Knock at the Cabin is another one. I forgot about to even think... I thought about it, but I was like, eh. But... I think that's going to be an interesting one. I think that's going to be a slept on one. Because I look at old. A lot of people slept on old because M. Night Shyamalan is kind of hit or miss. He's been hit recently. He's been yeah. Hit. So I hits. think that's going to be a good one as well. Evil Dead Rod, like Yandre mentioned. Um, you know, we did a trailer of that one. Looks, looks. Ooh, graphic. It's something. Hor- uh, chilling. Gives you a little scoose bumps. It looks, it looks fun. It looks like a good film. Um, also put Blue Beetle on Yandre mentioned. Great, seemed like a great film. Equalizer, is that really coming out? Is it? That's what I'm hearing. I, I and Denzel Watch don't do sequels, and he definitely don't do no three movies in a row. So, <laughs> Eagle Eye 3 got to build a list also. Okay. Well, and if, that's, then, um, if that's coming out, I didn't know that was coming out. Okay. The Meg 2, if that's really coming out, the Meg 2 is going to build a list. I enjoyed the Meg 1, the first one. And for my last one, I would put uh, put Cocaine Bear. Fuck it. Cocaine Bear. Wow. Okay. Cocaine okay, Bears, and you go watch. You just turn that bitch. You just sit there. Turn and your watch brain it, off. Just have to a Tuesday. Go watch it on Tuesday for seven bucks. Sit there and just like. Hey, I've been watching the bear do coke. Okay. I probably won't see every week at the end. I'll watch that shit when it come on TV, but still. <laughs> We're having to watch it on a Tuesday. Just you know, Nah, not nah, fuck that. Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday I'll, we'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll wait to watch it on TV. Okay. Um, That's why you put the background while you doing some other stuff. Listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, coming in at number one, I got Spider Man Across the Spider Verse Part One. Spider Man to the Spider Verse was a movie. That I slept on going in. I was I, I like I was excited for it because it's Miles Morales, of course. But I didn't think it was gonna be that good and that amazing. And I honestly I'm just I can't wait to see what the sequel holds. I mean, it's it's, it's definitely gonna involve a lot. We have a lot of Spider-Man that are coming into this film, a lot of um versions that we've known throughout our lives from from other animated series, from different comics. Um there might be even some from movies, who knows? But it, it's, it, it seems like a really dope concept that they're doing with the Spider Verse, and um, like Javante said, the music's gonna gonna you know be banging with uh, Metro Boom Booming producing it. If you have superheroes and villains, that, that was a dope ass album. Heroes and villains, Hero- not superheroes and villains. Heroes and villains, heroes and villains. <laughs> dope ass album. Um, so yeah, it's, I think it's gonna be an amazing film, worthy of a number one spot. All right, in the in the in the anticipated and. Down the line in best films of 2023. I like that choice. I like that choice. But for me, guys, I gotta keep it a buck. <laughs> of course. <laughs> for me, it's about family and Corona. No fucking way fuck you did. It's about Fast and the Furious 10. <laughs> fuck you, mean? You actually put that. Sorry for you head headphone head. users. Charlie Stan, Brie Larson, Joy, Jason Momoa, did, did, did Diesel back? Fuck you talking about. We here. Fast hits finally coming around again. God damn it. Fast and I was fire. I remember Fast 10, bro. I enjoy those fucking films, bro. I watched Fast and Furious today, Fast 5. I knew we were going to do our top 10 most spin. And I said, eh. And I was like, this is easily number one. This shit's fun, bro. We are going to go in there. We have a good old time. I know all y'all in there are going to go watch. You're going to have a fun time. Look at some nice ass cars. Seeing Vin Diesel do some crazy shit. Bring back John Cena. This is our, this is guys, for Fast and Furious fans, this is our Avengers Infinity War. We got two parts coming out. I think the Ross coming back for the second part. But fuck it. We here. Just a moment. Be a dope ass villain. It's gonna be clean, bro. He's gonna do some dope ass shit. Vinny's gonna be clean. 
the team back. We here, we gonna talk. We gonna talk about CBM. I'm hearing God, but don't come back. Fuck you, we we here. Fast and the Furious, Tim, where is that? They go. Look at all the fucking list. Fuck the bullshit. He slept though. He didn't put his honor on mentions. He was disrespectful. You know, it's disrespectful. It's, on, it's, not, it's not in my honorable mentions. It's not in my top 10. That's just be fire, bro. That shit, that shit might be in my top 10 worst movies. You put ever. Mission Impossible in that bitch? Well, I don't. Do, what you talking about? This just should be fire, bro. Okay, Fast 2 can be fire, bro. There's a difference between Fast 2. It's the and, ending. There is a difference between Fast 2 and Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible started from day one from the jump. Tom Cruise was doing all this crazy shit. So I was used to it. It was already established in the franchise. So every movie didn't. It wasn't like, oh, wow. This is very different from with the first movie. No, it's still about the same. Now, Fast and the Furious took a major fucking turn. Bro, it's been doing crazy. This is Fast Five been doing crazy shit, bro. This Fast and Furious. And that's, when, one. And that's when it should end. You like that one? That's what. That's you like six, don't you? Yeah. No, actually. You like seven? Bro. No, not really. Bullshit. The only reason why I like seven, six is good, bro. The only reason why I appreciate seven is just because it's the final. You don't like six. Office. Huh? When they all come in for the bank bank heist, you like that movie? Don't try to bullshit. What six ain't the bank heist? Nigga, five is the bank heist. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about four. Okay, you dumbass. The bank heist. We like six is good. Two, I like six also. Don't yeah, try to play me. Fuck, no. fuck that. I was watching four. Mean, mean, I watched four. Dave, my bad. I watched five. I watched Fast and the Furious four. You mean sits with the longest runway ever in fucking mankind? Yes, and Gal survived. Yeah, we gonna talk about that on CBS. My man, and the agent took care of it. But my point is, bro, Fast and Ten got to be the one because it's family, oh, it's Coronas, God. it's Vin Diesel. One last time, got or. Two times something like that. One last time seeing these characters all together on film, bring back the crew, bring back the family. It's gonna be fire, bro. Bring Paul Walker's daughters gonna be an interesting thing, and they do that for real. But I'm all here for Fast and Furious 10. God put it work. I love some look at some nice ass cars. It's gonna be exciting, fun. Cardi B's gonna be back in it. And the pre-trailer, the hype trailers, gonna do numbers, bro. It's gonna do a Marvel numbers. What Marvel does is gonna do those kind of numbers, bro. And it's got that big ass like it did last time. But Fast 10's where it's at, goddammit. We here, number one list. Where y'all at? In the comments section, make sure y'all show love the Fast 10, goddammit. Again, I, I don't understand this. Yeah, I, I'm pretty Coronas sure. and family? What the fuck you mean you understand? Sure you Coronas and family! Sure agree Coronas and family, bro. Man, no one gives a fuck about that goddamn franchise. You like Coronas? Uh, man, fuck the Coronas. Fuck the My Coronas be hit. You fool. No disrespect to people who drink Coronas. Coronas, I, 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 actually, fuck. I actually do love Coronas, but fuck. You like family? But, uh, fuck that when it comes to this movie. Fuck those Coronas and fuck those. Fuck bro, the you touch up your OSC Vin Diesel one last time, see, bro. Bro, I'm tired of seeing that shit, bro. It's it's, it's annoying to me. We, I literally just saw this nigga in the last movie. Hold about 30 or 40 niggas at a, on a guy. Yes! Look how small he is! Come on, bro! Look how big and small he is! He beat, the, rock, he beat the rock's ass! Come on! Come what on! What you mean? Bro. Come on. Man, get the fuck out of here. Also, I know this project has some issues with directing and producing, but I think that's shit. There's no. a reason why he left. He knew he knew The what Rock? Was. No, because Black Adam, you guys said you you meant it when Black you're like, damn bro, this motherfucker's kind of a diva. No, I'm talking about the director, I'm not talking about the rock. Oh, that's fine, bro. Everybody gotta take the, he's still producer on it though. He's in the one directed. Yeah, that's like Zach. That's like Zach Snyder being the producer Bro, of Wonder Woman eighty four. You can't tell me you add Jason. You can't tell me you add Jason Momoa and Brie Larson. The movie ain't good. You add Brie Larson and Jason Momoa to be badass villains, probably. Who did they? The, what? What you talk? The last two movies they added what Charlie Theron and all this. Bullshit. And Charlie Theron this one also. I'm saying, but they added Charlie Theron and all this shit. But the, the, the movies still aren't good, my guys. We're gonna probably they're probably back Shaw. They bring back uh, Shaw. Shaw's Jesus. my guy. That's my character. Jesus bring Christ. back Shaw. Bring back his brother, Please. bro. Bring back the whole fucking team. For the love of God, no. Yes, bring Hector also. Bring Hector back too. Fuck it. Bring everybody back. For family, bro. Okay, well, yeah, you can enjoy that shit at the theaters. But I'll be there day one. You'll Y'all, be there too. Hey, fast, you missed the last fast. one. He saw the last one with me. Yeah, I did. But you paid for it. So. You still it. You yeah. sat your ass there and watched that movie? But no, I'm, I'm done now. I'm, I'm done. I'm officially <laughs> done. That shit. That shit. I'm done. He'll be there, guys. Hold on, Blackie. He'll bro, be there, bro. I'm done. Hey, do a trailer reaction to it? Huh? You do a trailer reaction? I probably would do a trailer reaction, sure. But uh, no, nah, uh, as far as seeing the movie, I'm done. Uh, fast, to drop that trailer for us. Hey, you're, Universal, send me out there for the premiere. I want to be out there for the premiere. Send me the premiere. You want to see your girl from uh, Miss Sunday? I do love Natalie Emanuel. Yeah. Well, I have to catch her with something else. My girl, my girl Mia. Hey, I, hey, I love Natalie Emanuel, but I watched the interview. In, 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 it was it the invitation? Shit was ass. Mia? What about Mia? Huh? Mia? Yeah, Jordan and Bruce are fine, but no. Still, She's dope. Still ain't worth it. My girl, uh, Mage uh, Michelle Rodriguez. Still ain't worth it. Bro, he capping, Ain't bro. worth it. I'm here for I'm excited for it. Ain't worth it. Look at what I got for family for Coronas. Nope. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have a Corona when the trailer drops. It is not. I'm gonna have a nice Corona right here, nice and cold. Okay, go I'm ahead. I'm gonna wear a fucking white tank top. Family. Okay, bet. I'm gonna hold you to it. Um, but yeah, you guys, that, that is all for our top 10 most anticipated movies of 2023. Let us know your top 10 down below in the comments section. Please don't include Fast X. I'm gonna delete that comment. Y'all better put Fast X in that bitch, bro. If it ain't one, maybe two. I can't. For me, it's number one. It ain't no top two. It's only totally one. I can't believe you really put that shit. No, you 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 literally omitted Creed, but you remember to put Fast X. Okay, all right, bro. Fast, um, it's Fast and Furious. I ain't seen in a while, bro. Should yeah, be fire, bro. Okay, but, cars, okay. Cardi B, girls dancing, okay. all kinds of shit going. Clubs, yeah, street we, racing. Okay, we gonna talk. We gonna talk about it some more tomorrow on CBM. But uh, yeah, again, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this top ten most anticipated movie list of twenty twenty three. Uh, be sure again be sure to let us know your top 10 down below in the comments section and if you enjoyed this video be sure to like share and subscribe but yeah i'm deandre i'm javante and this is drain j take care guys deuces what the hell's a wrap man <laughs>